yet after only one hour one hour of uh trying to fix things it's finally working hello whoop, 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 whoop. uh for those of you who don't know who i am my name is sarah miller cruz aka struggle miller cruz <laughs> and oh man i really wanted to play more sumeru today and we're finally doing it it's very exciting and this is remy this is remy 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 uh what else is there to say if you don't know who i am i am the english voice of lumine in genshin impact and uh i can catch it and well that's not it i'm in other things but Oh, Xander, thank you for gifting one membership. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what else is there to say? Thank you to my mods. They, in the in the mod chat, had to listen to me call my PlayStation a poo-poo head. But we're, we can't, we can't say that because I promised my PS5 that I would only say nice things about her. So, yay for my PS5 for being so wonderful and you know finally getting it together in this stream <laughs> and Fargus thank you for becoming a member for 11 months Woo! Woo all right okay Remy are you trying to go lay on your okay hold on now Remy has to get settled. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot happening, but not to worry. I have soda and I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Uh, is... There's the game audio. Let's make sure that you can hear it. You can't hear it. But now you can hear it. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Let's do this! All right, so I don't really remember what was happening in the Sumeru story quest that we left off, but we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out as we go! What's this? You go, that's what we're doing. Kitchen! Again, she didn't bag! for the best of 2022 compilation video. I'm super excited. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. <sighs> took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzov was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Okay, okay. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzov that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. This is true. I thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzov. It's called being a professional. Aww. I'm a bodyguard, and Dude, I work for whoever's paying. Just admit that you're friends 
with her. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Yep, that's a blush if I've ever seen one. Ugh, listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit-chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Yeah! Let's meet with the Lesser Lord! Lesser Lord! Yep, we're just walking. Oh, hey, Chief. Oh. Ha, <laughs> Dia! What are you doing here? And well, well. Didn't expect to see you three together. You know who I am? <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Did we already meet mm -hmm. this guy? We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. We did already meet this person. No kidding. Hmm. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumero City to begin bolstering its defenses, so people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its Let way back. Let me guess, back. I have to go the find Grand the Sage item. The took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. I'm a detective! You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. Not to worry, the Academia's I can get grip it. isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back. Meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you could head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Huh? Students of the Academia? Why should we do that? Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also <laughs> interested, <laughs> just go there and see what happens. <laughs> Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me. If you two really do decide to visit Port like, <laughs> Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Aramites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King! Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. How come? Okay, wait. You bet they Did are. you see that? Did you see the that? The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. What's now happening? Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Why is Ridiculous. there... Ridiculous. Why is there a little tiny name above the Scarlet King? Why don't they just put... Is it because we'll be confused about who the Scarlet King is? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Why? Is it because we won't know? It's just another name for the character? Like they don't do that when they call child Tartaglia. Oh. oh okay. Oh, okay. 
But we don't know that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, now I know what it is. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia! And you too, Ozfan! Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Armos! Let's head to Port Armos! Let's head to Port Armos! Miss Junior's Art is looking forward to seeing you both at let's the Subzeru's Festival. Let's head to Port Armos! So, be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Don't worry, we will. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzeru's Festival. Yeah, we will! See you at the Subzeru's Festival! Dia! Bye! Port Armors! Oh my gosh! Okay, so the story I was gonna tell y'all. Okay, so. I unlocked the map um on my own time. I know we're all surprised. We're all surprised. But I was like, maybe if I unlock it, it will make my life easier. <laughs> I like the music. <sighs> Look at me! I'm just walking around! I love it! Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Incorporating but that into my I everyday can't speech. I to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. I don't think there's danger Ooh. here. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Is Hurley mm. Burley like something Austin that y'all have actually heard in real life or just in this game? While Be real with around. me right now in the chat. I might check the Akasha on the way here, and the Academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're Academia students and asking about the stolen item? Mm, right. We should figure that out before doing anything else. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. See if we can find any more Hurly Burly. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course, especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port almost to cut loose a little. Many people often Ooh, talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Ooh, Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos. So students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the academia. You know what else is stress-free? Ah, this 
see over there? Those are students Stress from the free. academia. Mm, they look pretty serious. Maybe even a little worried. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. Why is that? If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. Oh, eavesdropping. I love to eavesdrop. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up Oh my up gosh, look them. at their hats. <laughs> what was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, I hats! heard that the thing laughter them! might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come parades. again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but Changing not lot. so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop outfits. at the Jafar they Tavern. They look so cute! Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Half a million wait, Mora? Wait, did you say half a million? Yeah, thank if you. If information we're on alone the costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. Honestly, I. I agree. wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Half a million Mora. Then so. the only thing left for us now That's is to find worthless. a way in. <laughs> That's half a million Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? I just feel like we're having a misunderstanding Whoa. of like what Did you money hear means, that? maybe. A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? Hmm, it's very suspicious indeed. Whatever was stolen from the academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Let's try talking to one of the Aramites. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Have you lost your mind? Uh... Reliable information is worth the price. Oh, all right. Paimon never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of Mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. I do not know what I'm doing. I do not. You've arrived. Please take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe to toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. I could go toe to toe with <laughs> the boss. They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. Hmm. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? That's a really good yeah. question. Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts Whoa. vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. 
Traitor Lord Ruka Devata a traitor? What are they talking about? Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Can you imagine in real life? Hey, hey guys. Um, so I was just listening. Well, I wasn't listening. I just I was sitting, and then y'all were talking, and then I was like, oh, um, I heard something, and then I was like, oh, I have a quick question, and Remy was like, I also oh have a quick. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Remy, what are you doing? Come here. Here we go. Okay. Remy's like, I also agree. Oh, also, Glenn, I saw you super chatted and I missed it. What? You said, guess what? 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 Guys, can't even really see it. Just like a teeny little head. All right. Glenn, let me know what you were asking about. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. But let me know what you're asking. Goodbye. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a student from the Academia. A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I'm looking for info about a certain... something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? <laughs> huh? What is this, some kind of joke? Oh! <laughs> Sorry! She must have grabbed the wrong amount! <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, and Paimon can't stand to see so much more ago. But there's no other choice right now. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Oh, good. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I just have one more question. Oh, that's right. We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh... Because we're... Uh, archaeology students! <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. Yeah, throw in As more info. As you can info. see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Okay. Years Tell ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. Glad! Uh -huh. Glad! Uh -huh. Glad just gifted 50 memberships. Oh my gosh! Glad! Everybody say thank you, Glad! Oh my gosh, Glad! Thank you so much. Was that what you were uh, gonna do when you said, guess what? <laughs> I thought you were gonna tell me a joke. <laughs> Everyone who has gifted a membership say, thank you, Glenn! Thank you, Glenn! Wow, that's such a generous gift! Thank you, thank you. Remy says thank you, too. <laughs> thank you. Wait, how do I show his face? Thank you, Glenn! All 
right, since Glenn gifted so many memberships, Glenn gets to decide how we end the stream because I had two ideas. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know his paws are so like, he just lets me, he's like a doll. More dancing, Remy. That's fair. <laughs> Well, thank you, thank you, Glenn. That was so sweet. Uh, definitely surprising and also hilarious for, like, how this whole day has gone. Wait, did I thank my mods? <laughs> I can't remember. Wow. What a day. What a day. Spent an hour troubleshooting with my Elgato. But Glenn, you've turned it around with your gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to take this moment to thank my mods. <laughs> thank you to Archie, and Brandon, and Crazy, and Crisp, and Diamond, and Crammon, and Xander. Thank you, thank you for everything you do, mods. And thank you so much, Glenn, for the gifted memberships. Crisp, don't you dare. What do you mean the stream flickered a couple times? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me right now. Archie? Well, now... Well, Crisp is saying that he was kidding, but then Archie... Crisp! Crisp! When you say trust me, Crisp, I'm immediately thinking the opposite. Crisp is like, trust me, Wink. Trust me, Wink. Thank you, Glenn. Hopefully the stream is actually okay. Okay, Remy, you can lay there. All right. Let's go. We're going to keep playing. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. I don't believe that shameless it for a wretch second. destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. Oh, wow. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. What? Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. Okay. Okay. Something y'all might not know about me, but I feel like you probably do, is my face is very expressive. And I, I have found that when I... When something is happening and I need to not... Like, I have to focus really hard to make sure that my face, like, stays neutral. And I feel like if I were Lumine and this person was like, I, like, the end is nigh! I have a feeling I would have to focus so hard on my face to make sure that I wasn't going like this. <laughs> because I just feel like my face is so... <laughs> like expressive that I would not be able to listen to this person being like I'm gonna like like when our god returns he's gonna murder everybody I'd be like oh lo lovely <laughs> so glad to hear it 
actually, no, it's really funny because sometimes at like family events, if somebody is like <laughs> doing something that I think I'm like, my family would be like, your face. And then I have to go, I have to, I have to like make my face into just like a neutral. <laughs> anyway. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the Oracle? I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. Oh. I think this conversation has reached its end. Oh. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? Huh? <sighs> you again? <laughs> Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Who Listen is this? That address he gave you is fake. Oh? Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. Who this group this? has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. I said... This. The chat? Y'all are hysterical. I like somebody said another sugar daddy. <laughs> That's so funny. No, are people really calling him Dendro Daddy? I don't believe it. <laughs> hey, shut it all, Haytham. What are you playing at trying to ruin our business <laughs> like this, hmm? Also, I like. Dad hate them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't push don't us or this push could us. get ugly we don't usually ugly. get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things for a lunatic like you though we might just have to make an exception if you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one i accept ah! after all even the archons used war to negotiate the ownership of tavat if on the other hand we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Eremite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. Oh! I'm quite confident that if I began to take such action, Threatening. your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Did you Consider say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 mora to them. Yay! I want my money back! <laughs> wow. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well... <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa! Did you see that? We got us our money back. Wait, did he just but leave? the Emirates oh. running too. Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Oh. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions. He just left. He went that way. After him. Uh, oh, ex excuse me. H Hello. I have I have questions for you. Them, right? 
What do you want? Thank you for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Oh? Hold your horses! We still have something Goodbye. to ask you about! <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... <clears throat> certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? <laughs> He's doing this thing. He's doing this thing that you know I find funny. Turn around, I'll hate them! Look me in the eyes when you're speaking to me, okay? Let's just have a conversation. Person to person. Face to face, face to face. Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! I'll hate them! <laughs> okay. Um. I'm a student from the academia. A student? <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Perhaps we can also talk terms? I know a thing or two about swordplay. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? These answers make no sense with what he just said. Am I wrong? Ah. What? I don't get it. I'm so confused. Huh? Oh, yeah! She's really strong! Oh. Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. Got it, She got doesn't it. even have a vision. Forget it. Whoa! Maybe not, but she can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Um... From guys like that. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. Also? Uh, also? Wait. <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. Okay. Also, I'm I'm obsessed with the fact that Al Haytham was like, you know what? This outfit, like I imagine Al Haytham put this outfit on in the morning, like, and then was like, you know what? My muscle, my upper arm muscle is not showing enough. And then just like ripped just this part of the sleeve off. And then was like, hmm. And then like just like let the cape fall off of just one shoulder <laughs> and then looked himself in the mirror and he was like perfect perfect i can see my arm muscle and then it was like doo -doo -doo, moving on i'm just obsessed with him like looking at the mirror and being like hmm i worked on my on my guns i've worked so hard on my muscles and nobody could see them! How shall I rectify this situation? <laughs> he's flexing. <laughs> what if he's walking around? What if he's walking around and like all the time is like flexing and like pointing at things, being like, like, here, give me a pen. <laughs> give me a pen. <laughs> he's like, if you look on this piece of paper, it's like, like flexing. If you look at this piece of paper, <laughs> that, that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by there! the pier. It's right there! It doesn't matter if you show up or not. He did it! He folded his arms on purpose to flex. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, like every time, like every
ever like he walks around like that every time he passes like the windows he's like glancing over like do my muscles look okay do my muscles look okay um so since you were happy to give us this merchant's information does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after you were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? Okay, I'll hate them. I need you to take this sass and reel it in, okay? Just because I don't know what I'm looking for doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm doing. I know that there's information there, okay? Okay? Like, I d I'm trying. I'll hate them. I'm trying my hardest, okay? <laughs> He's so sassy! <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm... What else? It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know. What? But you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. What do you mean I know almost all there is to know? All I know is that I'm looking for something that has to do with knowledge. I know nothing. Uh, what are you trying to say, Al Haytham? I... What does this mean? You know almost all there is to know. I, no, I don't. I literally know zero. So how? What? I'll hate them. Don't play with me right now. This is what you've been looking for. What? Huh? Paimon can't tell what it is. It looks I'll like hate them had it the whole ornament. time? This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply... It's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. What? It's like a miniature Akasha. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Um, anyone? Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules confer their contents without uh... any requisites. looking for that's just like that isn't the thing we're looking for that it just means it looks something like that okay 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 <laughs> i thought i thought we were like i thought he literally was like this is what you're looking for like you stole it and you're showing me in broad daylight okay no no it's just like it's just like what we're looking for. Okay, okay. That's amazing! It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. A vestibule? Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict <laughs> regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. I heard that the academia lost something recently. Seems like it's a knowledge capsule? Oh, so that's your true objective. I want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. What do I have to do? Perhaps we can negotiate further. <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Okay. <sighs> wow. No, that would have been probably like a very short quest if he had just been like, And here's the thing you're looking for. 
Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. He goes, let's go somewhere where there's less people. Immediately I can see a person. <laughs> He's like, let's go somewhere a little less crowded. The, somewhere secluded. There's someone right there. <laughs> someone who's actively eavesdropping in our conversation. Um, okay. What is it? I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with Academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Okay, why do you want us to meet with her? Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. Question uh, privileges! Fine! So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Oh, I love improvising. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time! We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? I can use it. Oh, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Same to Paimon. Try inspecting them with Elem. Oops. How'd it go? Did you see anything? I skipped to his light a little bit. The one on the left shines brighter. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermin Soul, the root of Dendro power itself. <laughs> oh, the more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the Mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any Mora left over, just keep it. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Matra? They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. I'm willing to take that risk. I'll help you find Dory. Okay. Then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. Looking at what Alhatham wrote, Dory's informant is a trainer near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions. 
instructions and try to get in contact with him. I have a feeling I know which of my mods are super into Alhatham. Where did it go? Looking to buy unripe para fruit. Ask the informer to take you to Dory. Wear a morning flower. Looking to buy canned knowledge. Customer. Matra. Sold to customers. Okay. Asking for particular door. Okay. Looking to buy unright. Okay. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? We want to buy some unripe hara fruits. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe hara fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Following the paper got us past the first round. Ronok. These two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You two, please follow me. Okay. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. Oh my we gosh. haven't seen a customer oh, wearing a Samaritan we're walking for quite so some time. slow! Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru Rose means common merch. Um, no, look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. Whew. That pop quiz sure was. Why are we scary. walking so slowly? Ah, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. This is so slow. There we Before go. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Oh, no. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. We're mice customers? I can't remember. I feel like mice were customers, or were mice... Matra. Okay, mice are customers. Okay, I'm going to say congratulations to you. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Dizziness with a side of tinnitus, please. Yep, that's the right answer. But... Eating hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Uh, 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 no! I don't remember! But I feel like it has to be Port Ormo. I'm going to try Port. Port Ormo style. Wow. You two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Aw, thanks. Okay. Everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot! It's the Matra. Run! Run! What? The Matra? Where? I'll oh, hate them, Zibber. Dump her if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant. Okay, run! Man, that informant really did not care about us. He ran that way! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh. Look, he's over there! Yeah, what happened to him walking so slow five seconds ago? 
go. running now. <gasps> These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. Goodbye. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but... We'll, we'll take, take it. it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much Mora they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. An we honest don't need any business of that. seems you kind agree? of. So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry, I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Can you show us your products? Ah, yes! Of course, of course! Go ahead. Help yourselves. Voila! Wow! She has a trove of canned knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichurls. Only three people in all of Tibet have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. Yeesh. Who would want to be an expert in that topic? Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tibet in the early Argon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Whoa! That's a lot of mora! That's a lot of, of mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. I'll take this one. And this one. As well as this one. Ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders, and quite the eye for quality. I'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with a taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Aw, thanks. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. 
If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of 1 million, Mora. Say what now? Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million! Calm down, Paimon. Don't let her trick you into spending more. But all the canned knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Isn't that a fantastic deal? Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. And so far, everything we've bought belongs to all Haytham. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? Don't say We're that out loud, Paimon! Don't you want to try it yourself? I think you're the one who's curious. Come on, come on! We still have around a hundred thousand of Alhatham's moral left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem, you've got a deal, Dory! We'd like to spend an extra 100,000 mora! Excellent! And then please, select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. Uh, hold on a second. Time I thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. Uh-oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. All right, I'll have a look. So, what did you see? They all seem to be equally bright. So, they're all worth about the same amount? Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, how about this one? Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Not sure we'd ever find volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? <laughs> Let's go with this one. Fine by me. Dory, we'll take this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with all Haytham. <laughs> Mora, Mora, shiny Mora. <laughs> Please, come back any time you need something. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Whoa. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Matra won't come here. <sighs> okay, now. I know, tell the music me how is so good. Dory went. Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? 
Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. It's not a secret or anything. We want to meet with the Dendro Archon. Yeah! She just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Oh my gosh! Wow! Kinda... There's really such a thing Why would you that? lose a divine hey, knowledge? Why was that being moved? Do you think moved? we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or even how to find your brother? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. Your goal is to find it too? I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Eremites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously close to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? That's exactly what I want. Thank you. Okay. Then we'll meet up in two days. Um, Alhatham, before you go, we actually bought a Knowledge Capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Oh, let's head to the outskirts of town! Aw, oh, man. No, wait, I don't want to go there. Doo -doo -doo. I'll hate them. Be honest with me, I'll hate them. 
Are you trying to lead me to my doom? <laughs> Let's head to the outskirts of town. Wink. place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. I do. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. Okay. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between yep, yep, the two yep. tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! A hit wow. them? You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the Academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? I'm obsessed with the idea that Al Hatham's like super duper smart. But Al Hatham also wants everybody to know that he's ripped, and so that's why he, like, like, <laughs> tore part of his shirt off as he was like, I'm not just smart, I'm also very strong. <laughs> he's like, There's more to me than just my brains. Um, okay. I'm also curious about this. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Mm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. I would agree. Thank All you, right. Paimon. Let's begin the test. Just fight as you okay, normally well, do. Okay, well, you just also didn't answer the question again. So that's, that's two times now. That's two times now that you haven't answered the question. Like, I'm just pointing that out. Scatter! All right. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Okay. Activated. Wait, what? As if I saw countless sword-wielding figures fighting one moment, and then in the next, they disappeared into the recesses of my memory. Hey, how are you feeling? I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became part of my memory. You mean that it worked? All right, time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before.
Wait, do they always do that? He's looking at me. No way, do they always do that? Look! Look, his, his head is following me! He's looking at me! No way! No way! I didn't know! It's always been like that. I don't think I've ever noticed. Look! Look over here. Over here. Look over here. And over here. Look over here. And over here. Can you see me? I'm over here. Look at me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Hello! Hello! Hey, fam! Oh, hey, fam! Oh, hey, fam! Can you see me now? Super fast. Super fast. Can you even see me? You can't see me because of how fast I am! Woo! Look how fast I am! What's up, Al Haven? Now I'm over here. And then over here. I'm over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to pick you out. Pick you out! I'm gonna pick you out! You don't know where to look. You don't know where to look. Your head's bobbling. You're like a bobblehead. <laughs> I guess we could talk to you now, I'll hate them. Now, I'll start recording data again. Oh, hate them. How's it going? <laughs> well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve her combat capability. During the second fight, her overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Wait, how much? 0 0.073, that's not very much. 0.073%. That's basically zero. Uh, Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million mora? This thing isn't worth a tenth of that amount! Of course. This could be because she is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. I'm just already so powerful! At the powerful. very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Wakela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. <laughs> Xander, thank you for the super chat. Xander says that's definitely going in the best of 2022. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of really funny stuff in that video that I've already clipped. Oh, two days from now. Let's change the clock. <laughs> Has everybody liked this video? Have you liked this video? Have you liked this video? Because if you haven't, you should go like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I now have a handle. And my handle is the same as my channel name. It is at Sarah Miller Cruz. Fancy, fancy handle for a fancy, fancy streamer. Let's see, Dory did it. Okay, I do have to tell y'all. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. I don't really know what the difference between handle and channel name is, except I think you could search, like I think you could tag now or something. I don't really know. I just know YouTube emailed me and was like, you have a handle now. Uh, okay, so, okay, so. Uh. Do 
you, do y'all know, okay, are any of you like this? Because I'm like this, where if, okay. So like, if y'all know that I'm very silly and I'm very energetic a lot of times, if I'm faced with somebody who's like not laughing at the jokes I'm making and they're like, you know that kind of person, they're like cool. They're like, I'm a cool person. This gremlin, this chaos gremlin just like rises up inside of me and I am just like, I am going to bother you until you find me funny. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure out how to make you come on to my level and have a good time with me. You know what I mean? And uh, so I was like, I I was like talking to somebody. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, you're a challenge now. I'm like, oh, you don't think this is funny? Oh, you're not having a good time? I'll show you. And so I was laughing because now that I play um, YouTube, YouTube, now that I play Among Us, my TikTok shows me like, do you know how there's like lots of streamers that do like among Us games together, like lots of YouTubers that do like, and Twitch streamers that do, like that, they play Among Us together. Um, sometimes when I watch those, my first thought is like, oh, I could never play with that person because I would spend the whole time. They're like, cool. Cause you know, you know how like some streamers, like their whole thing is that they're cool. Do you know what I mean? Like their whole thing is like, their whole thing is like, they're like chill and cool. That is like a challenge to me. And I would be like, okay, okay. Time to break you. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, I will poke you until you laugh. So anyway, yeah, I don't know why I went on this whole thing. But the thing is, is I actually am an introvert. I'm an introvert who is, <laughs> I'm an introvert who's really good at pretending that I'm extroverted, but also I get very energetic. You know what I mean? I'm like blah, 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 all the time, but then I'm like, then I'm like, ugh, after too much socializing with strangers, I'm like, I would like to go climb into my bed and sleep forever. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't have any coffee today. I don't drink coffee. I wake up like this. I wake up and I'm like, hello, world. Good morning. Good morning. This is the sun rising. Good morning. That's why sometimes when I have 9 a.m. sessions, the engineers are like, ugh, Sarah. Because I come in and I'm like, hello, everyone. How are you feeling today? And they're like, shh, quiet down. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> they're like, we just got here. And I'm like, tell me about how you feel. <laughs> tell me about your dreams. <laughs> <sighs> And the engineers are like, no, no, like we haven't had our coffee. And I'm like, that's okay. I'll be your coffee today. I'll wake you up. Good morning. And they're like, no, please. Shh, please be quiet. So yes. Um, anyway, moving on. I don't know how I even got on this. <laughs> yeah, I show up. At, so sometimes like, sometimes I show up at 9 a.m. And I'm like, come on. And I think they think that I've had a lot of caffeine, but I don't drink coffee. And then when I'll see those same engineers like later in the week or like another week and it's like 2 p.m. And I come up and I'm like, how's everyone's day going? Um, one time in one of my sessions. <laughs> Wait, I should not tell this story. Have I told this story? <laughs> okay. Okay. It was right after that TikTok sound came out. Do you know the one that's like, it's corn. <laughs> it's a big loaf with tops. It has the juice. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. 
So every time, <laughs> I think it was a morning session too. Every time we would take like a break or something, or they would be like, oh, like we have to look up, like we would like stop recording with, um, Stop recording. I would go, it's corn. It's a big lump of knobs. It has juice. And everyone was like, what? And no one in the session like knew what it was. And so I pulled up my TikTok and I like played it into my microphone. <laughs> uh, but that's me like every single time. There was another one too. What was the other sound that I kept saying every time in between? You are like Papa! Oh, I kept saying that, and they had no idea. They were like, what are you talking about? I was like, you are like Papa! Every time they would be like, oh, we have to do that again because of blank, 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 like, or like, oh, that, we didn't get what we need. I would be like, you are like Papa! <laughs> they were just like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on! Ba -da -da. Let's go back to Port Ormos. Let's see what trouble we can get into at Port Ormos. You are like Papa. <laughs> here, over here. Oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Aha! Uh -huh. So it appears the canned knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of the divine knowledge capsule. Oh! Our new customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary can knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble! But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious. How you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. I also want to know that. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name your price. I'll buy the information. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. Oh, it's not my money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my money. That's why I'm spending it. was purchased yesterday by a certain It's Al Haytham's money. El Ahmar. You mean the Aramites who worship the Scarlet King? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of the Scarlet King. And that Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. And the capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not I in did vain. just turn it up. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. Mora for Dory opens doors. Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. It turns out it ended up in the hands of Ein El Ahmar. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. Al Haytham, where are you? I have knowledge for you. Al Haytham. Al Haytham, where are you? I have information for you. Al Haytham, we got the info you wanted. 
Really? All right. Let's hear it. It's in the hands of Ein al-Ahmar, the very group that we're about to face. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramites' transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like <laughs> I this... I want to see the picture. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. How do I see the picture? All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al-Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force because them to show their hand. I feel in my head, I've decided that the photo is, is like... <laughs> Do you know what people see? Do you know? Do you know what people see like a celebrity and they want to take a photo of the celebrity, but they don't want the celebrity to know that they're taking a photo. So they pretend they're taking a selfie, but then they like, they like pretend they're taking a selfie, but they like turn the camera. So it's like them, but then like the famous person like right over their shoulder. <laughs> I've decided that that's what the picture is. It's like Dory being like, and then the, the capsule's just like right like on a table over her shoulder. She's like like pointing. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ein El Achmar guys. But now it sorta of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 o'clock sharp. We'll be there. See you then. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. Almost fell off there. Here we go! Let's go fight! 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 I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? Oh, well, that's You've come rude. to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine, your funeral. Your funeral. No, it's your I'm funeral. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. No, Get you'll em, be boys. fish food. Uh oh, here they come. Uh, good luck, you two. That's close enough. I will have order. Dog. 
one. Break forth. Dawn, break forth. Hello. Think you can get away? Academia scum! Oh. <sighs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Huh? Boss? Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! <gasps> he got it! I can't believe he lifted it right off him! like he used the Divine Knowledge Capsule. You mean, the Divine Knowledge Capsule did that to him? Speaking of which, Papasia did mention... Oh, yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermensoul? Mm -hmm. I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. Mm -hmm. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? That's exactly what I heard before at Ermensoul. If the Matra took him away, then that means the Academia got the mm -hmm. Divine Knowledge Capsule back, too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. No. Still, Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us. As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. No, oh, you have the capsule! We're so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? should head back to. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. You have a point. Let's return to Sumeru City. Then we'll part ways here, Alhatham. 
You have our divine knowledge capsule. I'll leave them. Give it to me. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Glenn gets to decide, or memberships. Glenn gets to decide how we end. Should I do commissions or fight one boss? Tis up to you, Glenn. Should I do all my commissions or one boss of my choosing? Also, for those of you who don't know, uh, next week is the voice actor Among Us stream. One of the new bosses. Who are the new bosses? I don't know who the new bosses are. It's best if you don't stare at the sea for too long. I don't know what that means. This one? Okay. Woohoo! Okay. We are gonna go fight this boss and unlock this waypoint while I'm there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm going the wrong way. This way. Do 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 do. Also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. But yes, next weekend I will be we will be doing the voice actor Among Us stream. It's our Halloween one. Um, so I think those of us who are streaming, we might dress up. I don't want to go that way. And also for Halloween, I believe to give y'all a little bit of a spooky stream, I think I'm going to play, uh, I think I'm going to play Stray. So I haven't decided what day yet, but that will be sometime next weekend. I was thinking I would be a pumpkin. Because Remy has a pumpkin costume already. No, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted!
don't know that I know how to get to the chicken from here. though is it better for me to do electrolumine instead of dendrolumine or does it matter i could also use animo We're gonna come right back. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna change into Electrolumine. Do a thing! Oh, there it is! Oh. Time for takeoff! Time for takeoff! 
it didn't do anything. Break forth. Shot, break forth. Whoa. Take this. Take this. Oh. Bellowing thunder. I will have order. Have order. Bard's arrow feather. Who do I have that on? Boop, boop, boop. We did it! Okay, let's go somewhere cool in Sumeru to end the stream. No. Where did I start? I started somewhere cool. Is it here? Yeah, because it looks like into the forest. Isn't that so pretty? Cramon! Thank you for gifting five memberships! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Everyone say thank you, Cramon! Carlos! Thank you for becoming a member for three months! Whoop, 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 whoop! What a stream! Started with some major struggles. But I think it ended pretty well. I think it ended pretty well. Everyone say thank you, Kraven! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. This is it. This is the end of the stream. For those of you that have not already, please like and subscribe when I get to my next subscriber goal. We've got some fun stuff planned. And uh, keep an eye on the Discord and on my Twitter for my streams. Or I guess keep an eye on the Discord for my streams for next week. I will be tweeting out the Among Us voice actor list next Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. And what else is there to say? Thank you to my mods. Thank you to Xander and Crammon and Diamond and Crisp and Crazy and Brandon and Archie. Thank you to all of my mods. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to all of you for watching and hopefully enjoying the chaos. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the chaos and energy. Uh... And I think that's it. If you uh, became a member today for the first time, check out our Discord. We have a special members-only channel. So, yeah. I hope that y'all enjoyed this stream. I enjoyed this stream. And I'm just so grateful uh, to have all of y'all come hang out with me when I play Genshin. Uh, yes. So that's it. Next week, we'll probably continue more in Sumeru. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That's it. This is great. Thank you so much, everyone. And I'm going to mute the game. Thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Okay. I will see y'all next week. Okay. Bye. See you later, bye!
Okay, leave. Goodbye. <laughs> I know y'all were waiting for this. Go away. Goodbye. Good night. Or, or have a good day or whatever. Okay, bye. <laughs> no, you leave first. I'll leave after you leave. Okay, just kidding. Bye.